HMS Caroline. Docked in Belfast, she's the only ship from Jellicoe's fleet still afloat. And deep inside, it's still possible to get a sense of life on board during the Great War. You know, it's quite amazing to be anywhere in the, the engine room. There are two massive steam turbines here and two in the forward chamber with a great steam condenser in the middle. You can just imagine being down here as one of the men who worked in the engine room. The noise, the vibration, the heat. They must have been continually pouring with sweat. There's one place on HMS Caroline that must have been particularly terrifying. In battle, the emergency steering compartment would be used to maneuver the ship when everything else had been blown apart. Eight to 10 men would be down in this chamber with the hatch locked, following orders that came down from above. You can imagine the sheer, the sheer power needed to turn these gigantic wheels and this massive ship, being trapped down here in the heat of battle, rocking and rolling, and the blast from shells, torpedoes. It wouldn't be a pleasant place to be. And then suddenly, you could be sinking to the bottom, trapped in a cage of steel. The men on board these ships had come from Britain's bustling naval towns, Portsmouth, Plymouth, and Chatham. Some as young as 14. Most had signed up for 12 years. Over 40,000 of them. They came to a remote windswept place of farmers and fishermen and outnumbered the local population by almost two to one. 